Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. That's right, that's right. Don't, don't, don't try. It's summertime, and the effects of the pandemic are slowly wearing off. Public places are finally opening, so what's the best place to go on a sunny weekend? You guessed it right, the beach. Beaches are paradise getaways under the sun, with sand and surf aplenty. But some beaches are home to a number of hidden dangers and hazards that can ruin any vacation, or even potentially kill you. From the extremely radioactive beach to the beach of the dead, here are 10 of the most dangerous beaches you want to avoid at all costs. Let's begin. Number 10. Bikini Atoll, U.S. Marshall Islands The South Pacific Island in Micronesia has a shady past that contributes a great deal to its future. Unlike many other deadly beaches, this one is free from sharks, crocodiles, or jellyfish. But the U.S. Army used to detonate 23 nuclear weapons between 1946 and 1958. Although the beach is open to tourists, it's better to choose another location. The water is contaminated with radiation, and locally grown coconuts and fruits around here are unsafe to eat. You heard about nuclear testing in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, right? What if I told you that the atomic bombs in the Bikini Atoll were 1,000 times more powerful? I hope you understand now. Ironically, marine life thrives there. Even if you have Micronesia on your travel bucket list, guess what? There are over 600 islands that you can opt for instead of taking a walk on the Bikini Atoll. Most residents have fled the vicinity for fear that they'll not survive the impact. However, others are adamant and do not want to leave their ancestral home. Number 9. Reunion Island While the last beach was free from sharks, this one is home to them. Don't let the innocent name of this island fool you. Reunion Island is in the middle of the Indian Ocean. It is home to fewer than a million people, but its balmy climate and sun-drenched beaches make it a popular holiday destination. But since 2011, Reunion Island has been in crisis. Contrary to popular belief, sharks don't attack humans that much, but when they do, they usually end up killing them. The Reunion Island is only 40 miles long, and yet, in the last five years, 13% of the whole world's fatal shark attacks have happened here. To put that into perspective, there have only been three shark attacks off the coast of South Africa in that same time. An abnormally large population of sharks circles the waters around Reunion beaches. They've attacked 20 people since 2011 and killed seven. In 2013, all open water swimming and surfing in Reunion Island were banned. Enter those waters at your own peril. Number 8. Cape Tribulation Explorer James Cook gave the Cape Tribulation its ominous name after his ship struck a reef, stating that here began our troubles. The name, however, isn't enough to scare people off. Australians and people from all over the world travel to Cape Tribulation to stand in awe of its clear blue waters, soft sand, and the sublime Daintree Rainforest. Unfortunately, it's also full of snakes, jellyfish, crocodiles, and cassowaries. Cassowaries don't exactly look threatening, but the flightless bird can kill people. As tempting as the pristine waters look, you'd be foolish to wade into them. Saltwater crocodiles are often spotted on the sands or surfing the waves. A woman was attacked on the beach in 2017. Plus, the world's deadliest jellyfish might just make an appearance too. Box jellyfish swarm around the northern part of Australia from November to May. Number 7. Glass Beach, California Talking about surprising beaches, Glass Beach in California definitely deserves a place here. Don't worry, you don't have to wear shoes. Well, unless you're a nerd and you want to. The glass at Glass Beach isn't a jagged, sharp kind that you're likely to cut your toes on. In fact, it's quite the opposite. For over 60 years, Glass Beach was a garbage dumping ground. In 1967, this stopped and conservation efforts began and the result of over 50 years of gentle rise and fall of the tides has smoothed down all the broken glass. What remains now is a beach that substitutes sand for soft, polished pieces of glass. Visitors to the park can head to the beach and walk the shores. In the sunlight, the glass glints and sparkles. It's quite a sight. As tempted as you may be to pocket a few emerald-like pieces, this is strictly prohibited. So be sure to leave any you've picked up behind. 
Number 6. Skeleton Coast Wondering whose skeletons reign the grounds of this coast? Might be human, might not be, but definitely countless ships have been destroyed at the coastline due to the scary Benguala current. That makes me think that this frighteningly named coastline is appropriately named. Not only does the lethal Benguela regularly cause shipwrecks, but the surrounding waters are home to 11 species of sharks. Oh, and predators including lions and hyenas can be found patrolling the beach. It's little wonder that Portuguese navigators used to have another name for this coast as well, the Gates of Hell. Number 5. Chapati Beach we all know humans are nature's biggest enemy, so beaches aren't safe either. Mumbai's Chapati Beach is cited as the world's most polluted beach in the world, making the sea here unfit for swimming. The sands on this beach are full of debris and scraps from salvaged ships which could physically harm people, and the waters are full of dumped waste and disposal from the city of Mumbai. The beach's waters have only gotten more polluted since 2011, when the MV rack sank and spilled 60,000 metric tons of coal in the waters and it has never been recovered. Swimming in polluted water may result in illness such as diarrhea or sore throat or even more serious illnesses in children, the elderly and people with a weakened immune system. Number 4. Arnhem Land Beaches Arnhem Land and Top End is home to a massive population of both saltwater and freshwater crocodiles. This is a real shame as many of the beaches here such as Galaru and Boaca are absolutely amazing. Uncrowded stretches of pearl white sand, clear waters, and swaying palms. However, it's hard to relax even out of the water when you know what may be lurking. If you were to enter the water, and we'd really suggest that you don't, then there is always the risk of being stung by one of two dangerous species of jellyfish. The box jellyfish with its two meter long tentacles loaded with thousands of venomous stingers can at the very least deliver an agonizing sting. At the worst, it will kill you, especially given the remoteness of some of these beaches. The same is true for the Irukandji jellyfish, which is possibly even more venomous. In addition, the sting can lead to Irukandji syndrome, a condition lasting up to several days with one of the symptoms being a sense of immense doom. Of course, all the other usual suspects can be found up here, including sharks, stonefish, and even a blue-ringed octopus. Number 3. Hanakapai Beach, Hawaii. This beach's beautiful nature gives you a thousand and one reasons to visit it, but don't be fooled. The Hanakampai Beach boasts of black cliffs, golden sands, and the blue sea. However, it would help if you resisted the urge to fall into the Kauai Paradise temptation. The enticing waters here have strong tides and have taken the lives of numerous Ayn. Many visitors have met unexpected deaths a few minutes after they jumped into the beach to swim. There is no coral reef protecting the area, and this accounts for the uncontrolled tide. Because of the lethal nature of this waterfront, there is no main access road to the place. Curious visitors have to navigate through formidable boulders, streams, and waterfalls. These obstacles do not dissuade people from visiting and seeing things for themselves. The beach is strategically located on the other side of the Hanakopai stream because the stream is safer than the beach. Number 2. Boa Vigam Beach Boa Vigam is the upmarket beachfront district in the northern Brazilian city of Recife. Here you will find a palm-lined golden sand beach backed by shiny new high-rising buildings. The cafes and bars are always bustling and the beach itself is a hub of activity. Imagine this now, it's hot, the sun is out and there are lovely little waves bearing just off the beach, but nobody's in the water deeper than their knees. Look closer and you'll see why. Along the beach are over 100 signs warning swimmers and banning surfers from entering the water. The reason why? Boa Vigam is one of the highest numbers of fatal shark attacks anywhere on earth. Since 1992, there have been over 60 attacks reported on this stretch of coast, 24 of which were fatal. What is strange about the beach of Recife is that until the 1990s, there were practically no attacks. It is believed the sudden rise in number was due to the development of the nearby port soup, which involved diverting the flow of several rivers. One theory is that this prevented bull sharks from accessing the rivers, diverting them to the shores of the Recife's beach. Number 1. 
Nazaire Beach. Nazaire is one of the most seasoned and prevalent holiday resorts in Portugal's Atlantic coast. Each summer, the beaches of the conventional fishing town become popular for holidaying Portuguese families. It is additionally home to a few shocking bathymetries, with a deep oceanic trench indicating from deep water straight to the oceanside town. The effects of this is often to pipe already gigantic Atlantic swells straight to the town's northern shoreline. By the time the waves hit the coast, they are tremendous. It has made Nazir a very popular surfing destination. Its very high breaking waves form due to the presence of the underwater Nazir Canyon, as the canyon creates constructive interference between the incoming swell waves. It makes their heights much larger in this stretch of coast. The greatest wave ever surfed, in fact, is over 30 meters. Such waves are possibly deadly to the foremost experienced surfers kitted out with specialist gear, let alone the normal beachgoer. Which of these beaches are you brave enough to visit? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.